In this session, we're going to cover the quality assurance options of the survey testing tools. I'm currently in a testing session right now. Let's say, as an example, you are sharing your testing link with a person within your organization that's going to help you test the survey and provide feedback. As long as they're logged into the system and have been using the link, they will be able to leave some tasks directly into, in the system for you. So as an example, let me test through. And right now I'm skipped to Q4, but there's no question text, no response options, just one. So clearly this doesn't look like it's been fully programmed properly. I, as the other party, can go in and while testing, click on the edit slash add tasks button on the right hand side and add a new task. What this will do is build in a what looks to be an email type system, uh, but it's really just a, a running list or a running total of any sort of content that you want to leave for yourself or for the primary programmer as feedback for that person to review and or update or follow up on. So here I've added a task and it says attention needed on page six. So this is pretty much the subject line. I can change this if I wanted to and maybe say Q4. I don't have to because it's inherently already says what it, the page that this particular question is on. But I can change that if I see fit. Leave a note and say something to the effect of there, there was no question text and only one blank response option. Add task. And now I can see here that there is uh, only one task. I can continue to add more here right now, or I can close out, continue to test. Maybe I'll answer it, hit the next button. Q5 is the same thing. Maybe I want to add another task and say Q5, I can even type that in here and leave the attention on the subject line up here as is. So Q5, missing question text. Now I have two. I can still access them at any point too. If I clicked on this button, I can click on that Q4 to review it. There is no question text and one blank response option. I can make any sort of comments back and add my comment, or I can update the status. Uh, you have open, completed, or declined. So I can escape out of here if I needed to. And you can see now there are two open tasks. It gives you a running tally of how many open tasks there are. So I can either go through myself and test and leave notes for myself or again pri provide the link to a colleague they go through they do their their testing and they add their feedback within the the tasks feature this is a great value add so that you don't have to worry about sending emails back and forth with bulleted lists maybe you test one path of your survey and you have a number of pieces of feedback for the the person who's in charge of the project, you go through, maybe you test again later on in the day, maybe you didn't have time or you had a meeting that you had to jump on and you had to get away from the survey for a little bit, you can come back and continue to add tasks as you see fit. Now the primary programmer or the person who's in charge of the project can either A, access them the same way I did here, I can just click on the test link, go here and click on edit, add task and I can see the list. Or I can use my navigation uh, button or menu and go to the tasks. It's its own feature. So if I click on that, this will send me the survey dashboard. You can see the tasks. There's two with the little red indicator here. So it gives you a counter so that it, it's very obvious to you that there are open tasks sitting here waiting. So let's say, for example, I've got two open ones here. I can click on any one of them 
maybe I made the update. Um, I can leave a note to that effect. Made the update all set. And then I can mark this as complete. Add the comment. So now you can see there's a little bit of a status change and the counter decreases by one. And again, you can use this in a number of different ways. Some folks even use this to add a task by default and maybe upload your questionnaire to it. If it's a very large file, it might not work. Um, but I have seen in the past where folks have uploaded their questionnaire to a task, so it's here. Um, and if, for example, I am on vacation as the primary programmer, somebody takes it on and makes the updates to keep the project moving while I'm away, they can come in here and either leave the notes or I can leave that questionnaire for that person or leave any sort of communication back and forth uh, between myself and the the person in charge of the project. And again, I can still add new tasks up here. And to this effect, I can also go into the build and edit tool. And up here, if I refresh, I'm in the build and edit tool here. On the very top right, there is a little chat looking icon. These are the, this is a link to the, the tasks as well. You can see there is a counter here too. If I click on here, while I'm physically programming, I also have the ability to add tasks, modify them, close them, review them, and so forth. So this is available within the survey dashboard, it's within the build and edit tool, and it's within the survey testing tools. So this is a, a great value add so that you'll be able to keep track and collaborate and even make notes for yourself.